Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that board Sir? Club party? Uh, hello, Max. Like I would, miss would you like it? to I tell me what you wouldn't it? yesterday? There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. 
and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing in, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Think, big brain. Think. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance this bullshit. This can't be that hard. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look... Thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon.
Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo, bo, bo. Nina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like this. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Of course. But believe it or not, I get embarrassed thinking about people looking at me. Trust me, I understand. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run- Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. 
Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student, or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. <laughs>